What makes for excellence in heart care? It starts with one of the most amazing teams of heart surgeons and cardiologists that I've seen assembled under one roof and the region's leading technology in a new $40 million facility. This is the nationally recognized Heart and Vascular Institute of Eastern Kentucky at Pikeville Medical Center. Although many industries have faced staffing shortages since the start of the pandemic, none are as vital as ambulance services. Roughly one-third of all EMTs quit in 2021. We spoke to Battalion Chief Mitch Case on the increasing need for EMTs throughout the state. As far as EMS in general in the, in the state, in the country, it's, it's scarce. It is. It's just drawing new people to be able to come in and to be able to, to respond, to be able to take care of people. That's the, the issue that we're finding is, is drawing people into this service. Because if we are in trouble, if someone is in trouble, that's what we've always been taught is to, to call 911 and someone's coming. And we're gonna continue to do that. We have multiple services inside just the, the county of Pike County. Um, to be able to respond, we have to be able to have people in those ambulances to be able to respond and take care of people. Uh, on a daily basis, you have to, to pull and, and schedule people the, the best that we possibly can to be able to, to respond to those calls for service. A 2022 American Ambulance Association study found that 39% of part-time EMTs and 55% of part-time paramedic positions went unfilled because of a lack of qualified candidates. We do have a, a class going on right now. It's a, it's a joint, joint venture between the, the City of Hockville Fire Department as well as uh, Pikeville Medical Center. Center. It was a, uh, uh, a grant that's funded by SAMHSA and an awesome, awesome opportunity. Uh, we started the program so far with, uh, with 38 people um, and now we're down to, to 22 students uh, still continuing forward and looking for a, for a class ending in, in May. While the job is difficult, it can also be very rewarding. As far as the, uh, the, the financial side of it, yes, uh, it's, it's, it's a lower paying, lower paying occupation. But the, the rewarding side of it is, is whenever you put this uniform on, is people look to you, people look to you for, for care, for comfort, is a lot, of, a lot of times just to be a listening ear. But whenever you do put this uniform on, you're entrusted to go into someone's home and to literally have a mother hand their child over to you and say, can you please help them? For more information on EMT classes, call the Pikeville Fire Department at 606-437-5120. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Brianna Robinson.